hi guys this is Chandani and welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing today in my video I'm taking you to Perica on the east bank of Essequibo and we are going to Ruby Bag Dam and there I'm taking you to one of the biggest farms I've ever stepped foot on and it's not just any farm it's a fruits farm and their fruits in abundance and it's owned by Nikki's Natural Fruit Juices. I'm sure some of you are familiar with the business here in Guyana where they make fresh juices every day and they make ice cream as well out of fruits. Yes, out of fruits, sour sap, awara and so on. And not just that, you can find so many fruits on that farm. There's golden apple, there are cherries, guavas, oranges, sour sap, there are limes. There are mangoes, carambola, papayas. The papayas blew my mind. They were hanging on the tree and they were in abundance. And like I said, I'm so happy for such an opportunity. Thank you, Mr. De Silva, for allowing this to happen. And thank you so much for taking the time to go through, walk through with us, explaining so much. I've learned so much in such a short time. You truly know your onions, or in this case, your lemons and you've explained a lot you even give us tips on how to grow stuff i really did learn a lot so with this let's get straight into this video like i said i'm going to take you on a walk through on the farm and he's going to be explaining a few things as we go through and you're going to see how many great fruits there are there so anyhow i'm i'm going to stop talking now let's get straight into this video so i'm here in georgetown on cam street and this is between Princess and Norton Street. I'm going to check out Nikki's natural fruit juices and snack it. So I'm going to go in there and show you what's going on. And then I'm going to take you to the farm. So let me show you what's happening in here. So this is one of the locations. The other one is in the city mall, our very first mall. So there's a location in there. Hello. So apart from juices, they also have snacks, nice snacks in here and like palm. Um, this is cheese roll, pine tart, There, this is my favorite, the cheese pie, there is pizza, there is, um, I think this is a cream puff, cassava cone and fish ball channel. Oh, and they even have dog curry going on. So this is what the place looks like and you can come and sit and, and dine as well. So for the juices, they have orange, mango, golden apple, lemonade, plum, pineapple, guava, fruit punch, they even have coconut water, there's sour sap, uh, chocolate shake, there's shakes here too, peanut punch and so on. So this is what we have not passing at the moment. What we have is cherry, fruit crunch, guava, golden apple, pineapple, um, watermelon, mango. Alright, I want uh, four cherry. Four this, cherry? Yeah. Hello, good afternoon. Okay, so here I'm trying the cherry. And they're natural juices. No preservatives. So they have the gallon. So this would be the gallon, the half gallon, the one liter, and the 400 ml. 400 ml, right. So those are the different sizes. You mind telling me the prices? Like how they okay, go? So the gallon would be 4,000. The half gallon would be 2,400. The one liter would be 1,200. And the 400 ml would be 500. Okay, wonderful. All right. Make fresh juices. Uh -huh. Yeah. Every day you make fresh juice. Every day. Every day. So if you hear that, every day is fresh and it's as natural as it gets. No preservatives I mentioned. And you can taste it. My favorite is the passion, but I don't have passion today. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much. Alright. Alright. So this is the location I told you on Cam Street between Norton and Princess. Nikki's natural juices. You saw the sizes you can get and the other branch is in city mall that is on camp street camp and region by the way and there's a, a little there's a location in there as well so you can go there or you can come here to get your juices and now i'm gonna take you over to the farm and i am in perica uh ruby actually and 
today is Saturday, the 6th of July, 2024, and we are headed to a farm actually. And I'm very excited to show you this. We have to pass this big truck here. So this is Ruby, we're driving through. And Ruby back down actually. And you can see some of the houses there. All right, so we are heading down and um, it's a big farm we're going to. So I'm gonna show you what's happening on the farm. Dam, and this area is basically farming area and they, but they made this road to help with that yeah you can see there's a lot of land a lot of land all over okay so we're still continuing down we're heading in the right direction well we've been heading in the right direction anyways but we're almost there They're big cherries too. Yeah. Look how yeah. fat yeah. they are. Yeah. Really nice. Wow, this is some really big cherries. So Mr. De Silva's business is really like a movement of fresh fruits from their farm in Perica to their businesses in Georgetown. And that's where they process to make fruit juices and fruit flavored ice creams. So these cherry down there, you know, we had a big crop when it was in America. Mm -hmm. And see the flowering back and throwing back bearing again. You just throwing them out. So every after every crop you throwing them like you see I got a big machine to strip them. Mm -hmm. But because of the weather, because of this rainy stuff, so yeah, yeah, can't yeah. people bring any machine to chip up these branches. So you chip up these branches now and put them back under the tree. Wow. Now yeah. coming out there. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Now how long you been doing this? Long man, I've been doing farming 30 years. I used to work with people in here. Wow. Farm work. <laughs> uh -huh. I used to do farm work in here with people work for Imagine people. Imagine that. Yeah. Wow. 30 years. About 30 my, years. Yeah, I bought my first farm probably like 22, 23 years ago. Mmm, that's nice. Yeah. These are 18 months and I'll start throwing some coconut from them. Mm -hmm. But the weather got to be bad some days, man. The weather doesn't rain too uh -huh. much for this. Almost two years, we had a lot of rain, you know. Wow. So after Everybody. you get these cherries and so, there's yeah, a I factory there. The there's factory, yeah, and okay. these juices. Okay. Yeah, we do juices, you see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're now coming, look. Yeah. Green one. We just had a big crop and there's a second crop because we just sprung out the trees, them. Mm-hmm. You give them a light pruning, you know, after this crop, then we're going to give them another general pruning. Okay. So that day was cherry picking day and the workers were in and out with the cherries. So Mr. De Silva once said all his products are made from local fruits, 100% pure, natural, properly processed, refreshing and nutritious.
guys so we are here on the other side of the farm it stretches all the way and we're here now at the papaya section papaya and oranges and i'm going to show you how much papaya there is like i said this is on a large scale basis so i've never seen so much before not even at the markets <laughs> are these here and there's more oranges along the way they're now coming up and this is what this is pepper yeah, the planting. <sighs> oh okay I look, i'm seeing a pepper there nice and the papaya wow this is this is massive let's go this way <laughs> look at them they're just hanging like that i'll show you this one here oh look how many are on this one tree plant tree what is it it's a tree yeah and they have what's that and coconuts all the way up there oh this is a jamun tree when last did i see a jamun tree oh my look <laughs> they have jamun so this is a really big jamun tree all right i want to show you more papaya just look at them how they're just hanging there waiting to get ripe wow look at this look at this <laughs> that's beautiful so look at this look at this look at this they're so fat this is a weary pepper weary weary and they are native to guyana and they're so fat so much look at here wow and the tiger teeth they probably have tiger yeah, teeth i think this is tiger teeth i don't know look at that so many more there and the red ones already and we're getting deeper here you see how much papaya you're seeing as I go by and this is planting yeah some planting and now coming out oh look look a whole big bunch there that's a big bunch wow and the, the oranges yeah, really yeah well yes yeah, so there are some as we go by this is the orange plant orange tree and these are the oranges. So lovely. Huh? Let me show you a katahar tree. Katahar. Okay. Huh? Okay, so this is what they use to water the plants when there's dry season from the uh, drain. Draining guy. And they set up the pipes here to help in that process. And this is what? Katahar. This is a Katahar tree? Yeah. Oh wow. The young one, it's now started to grow. So this is a Katahar tree. This is um sorrel. Sorrel, see. Look at sorrel. Wow, you can see it right here. Sorrel plants. It's so nice to have a farm, huh? A lot of work. A lot of work, but it's lovely. Very humid right now here. In Guyana, despite the rain, this place is hot. I guess it's hot all over. There's so much going on with global warming. There's a whole big topic on that. Someday I would like to share it with you guys. I've been told by a few experts uh, who have studied this. And I would like to engage you guys just a little on the topic someday. But it's, it's, it's really um, scary to think about and it's we're in crisis the earth is in crisis so um someday i will have to open that topic and we'll discuss it so this is cane this is sugar cane and then they would when it's time to cut it they would take it and then juice it the farm and it extends all the way to the back i'm going to ask him how many acres so you'll, you guys will get an idea what I'm talking about. See, I'm, I'm perspiring very bad. Yeah. 
So we went across to where the cherries were and um, there's a whole lot of cherries there. And this is the papaya and the oranges. There's some sorrel. There is katahar, but katahar is just there. He basically um, deals with fruits because he makes juices out of them. And my favorite juice there is the cherry and the passion fruit juice. I love the passion fruit juice so much. Huh? Oh my God, I gotta go across there. Oh Lordy, I'm gonna fall in. <laughs> hey, what is that? All right, come on, don't worry about it. Balance. So I have to go across this little bridge. Is that right? I can't make it. Yes, come one foot at a time. Oh my God, is that right? I can't make it. Come on. In your life, you gotta He's try. He's coming. Come on, come on. Balance, no. balance. Just balance. <laughs> That's okay. Wow. Seedless limes. Seedless limes. Wow. I'm amazed with the papaya trees. Yeah, but see, we intercrop with those. Those over there is orange. You see how much orange on And orange, yes. You so even have sorrel growing there yeah, too. So we intercrop. Uh -huh. So we had um we had cucumbers when we plant the orange first. Then after we get rid of the cucumbers, we plant papayas and and, and uh -huh. sorrel. Uh huh. Yeah, so, so we intercrop. So we got the rose oranges. Yep, yep, you got to see you doing pepper, you got to tiger teeth. Yeah, pepper, the peppers are so pepper. huge, they wear very pepper. pepper. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you see, that's what I'm telling you how you use crap. you mix it so you yeah. don't, you know, you got different things you grow. So you don't waste the, yeah. the land. Yeah, this one right through, right? Yeah, this one right through. Right through. So this is Namrik entrance. This is Namrik entrance. And that's this Lookout. No, this, this, look look this is Lookout. This is Lookout. Yeah, and over, over the trench is Namrik. Namrik, okay. Yeah. So this is Lookout. This so all over there is me on the door. Yeah. Uh, over the trench there. Uh -huh. All mm -hmm. the way till the, uh, you can send a picture on it. Yeah. Yeah. You can see this line. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of lines because it, yes. it, so it extends. Line to the back. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, that's like what we got. So we got to see this line in abundance. We need, right? Yeah. No, what I mean, Diana got enough pieces. Right. They're not for me. Most of them is from AP and um, Dominican Republic. So do. It don't matter. Yeah. I was telling she that this is Tamron. Is the yeah, uh, right is place to do um it's sweet Tamron. To do yeah. to do agriculture. This is so this is why. sweet Tamron. Look there. Yeah. Let's yeah. yeah. get a closer yeah. look at, at what it looks like. That's the sweet Tamron, and this is the tree. Very nice. You can eat it just like that. Huh? Oh, golden apple. My favorite. I love golden apple pickle. So this is the golden apple tree. Lots of golden apple trees. But this is the golden apple. So there's always when we pick them, you see we prone them. We don't yeah. pick them by hand. Okay. We pick them with a prone knife. I got some motorized prone yeah. knife. You see if you notice it. This was a bunch pick out from here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we prone the one out so that this one could come. And these here could come. So, so like this one here now. Mm -hmm. When we gotta pick this, we pick out this whole bunch here. Right. Yeah. You see, we pick out this whole bunch so that you're going to be more efficient to yeah, go back. Yeah, more better, right. So yeah. you don't get no dry limbs on the tree. You see, there's no dry limbs anyway on the tree. Mm -hmm. If yeah, you yeah. pick out the golden apple and left this here, this will be dry on the tree. Oh, so I like this here you now, when this one they got cut. You see, we already cut out one from here. Uh -huh. So when we got cut this here now, we're going to cut this still here. So we prone in the tree same so, time. So, so one going to shoot out process here. process to, to... Right, you see, we cut here. Mm. Uh -huh. And you see one shoot out here. And then the next limb got there again. This is how we do it all the time, look, all here, look, come so here. So you can bear back faster. Yeah, look, you yeah, see we cut good. out this a big one right here, big limb we cut out right oh, here. Oh yeah, you can see it. Yeah. Yeah. We cut out the limb, look how many limb we got here now. We got one, two, all these flowers coming here. Mm. Mm. You know, we got yeah, we got these prone and knife, these are battery thing. I know, I know it. Yeah, use technology as best. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, that's a big. See, like this here now, right? So now, if we gotta cut this here now, you see there's a limb right here. Uh -huh. So we gonna cut right here now, so that oh, this limb okay. will get all the nutrients instead of pick off and left all this right thing, you know? Yes, yes. So just like this, and then we picking we pull off some leaf for light, not be treated. So when we picking this mm -hmm. one, we gonna cut it today. Okay. 
and then the one went out and flower so see you got flowers young ones flowers bigger size ones plus they got big ones and we speak row row everywhere we pick them mm -hmm. yeah this one is loaded look at the bottom there mm -hmm. too yeah see? yeah Keep them going all them. If you don't prone them, then you get these dry limbs. You see, like they say, sir, this is where you oh, don't want on the tree. You see this it. here, you don't yeah. want these days on the tree. So we prone them out. So none of the trees must got these dry limbs. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one is like ripe. Riper yeah. than. Yeah, yeah, these are these here ready for ready for go, you know? Mm -hmm. People of them come every day and buy juice, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Good. We, 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 the idea, my idea is that we really got juices in supermarket and that's because we don't want to go preservatives and all these things in natural. Know? Yes. We make fresh juices every day for people. That's the way. And this yeah. is where the fruits come from. Yeah, so you don't have no additives in your juice? No. no that's additives. very good. But we make juices every day. Every day. Mm. See this here? And like, like in the, how much, if you don't mind me asking, like in the batch? Let's say the cherry, like how you pick cherry today. Yeah. So now we're picking cherries, we pick um, 5,000, 6,000 pounds of cherry every other day. Every One other day? Yeah. Wow. How much yeah. gallons do you get out of the road? We, um, we pick probably like 50, 65 gallon pails every yeah. other day mm. when cherry in season. Today we only pick about um, 18, 20 pails of cherry today. Okay. And that's because the crop finishes out the crop we pick in. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So every bucket, because of the quality of juices, mm -hmm. every bucket a cherry give you a bucket of juice. Okay. Oh, okay. So everything works by measurement. So when mm -hmm. we pick a bucket of cherry, we don't know that it's a bucket of juice. Mm -hmm. And it's so under five are, gallon the juice. Are good. Yeah. yeah. A bucket of golden apple is a bucket of juice. Yeah. Okay. This is the first farm I bought. I bought this farm in. 1998. 1998. This farm. Wow. This farm that did me my business from this farm here. I used to get this whole filet set south up, this whole one side here, south up. And this whole one side here with cherries. And then from the golden apple go down, we had oranges. And then we had south up at the back there with cane and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And this is where we used to get to stuff them from. But then the trees get old and so we change up everything you know mm -hmm. cut down flower back change up a change over there back into south up one time now change it back into orange now again but i ain't gonna change back in my lifetime the kids them gotta try with the <laughs> but in, in the cropping is good for when you need to allow utilize the, the land you see you utilize the land better. yeah because our, for instance like orange trees those will plant like 18 to 20 feet apart so what are you gonna do with the 18 to 20 feet of land and the tree, the trees, the orange trees, them yeah. small like this. Right. So you utilize the land. Yeah, for other things. Right. That both could and grow. And in the meantime, the same time. now you 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 are pruning and growing them the orange trees them yeah, so, so that they could grow that. good. Yeah. So you got shard of life crop, shard of life crop. Yeah, we do cucumbers, trees. we do peppers, we do pop chai, like like sorrel. We use a lot of sorrel, uh -huh. so we put sorrel. How, how long? Mm -hmm. How long sorrel is long? Sorrel, if you care sorrel, if uh -huh. we care these sorrel trees them that we from, have from, here, from they good. last like three four years. Okay, from easily, good. and you easy. get a few crop, you get a few. Yeah, right now these are three years over a year old. Year, yeah. how long does it take to build so many beer when you start around? Um, Sorry, we done three months to start pick. That's good. Yeah, Sorry, let's pick quick. Hmm. This is all you see, these papayas is all set. This is where we mm -hmm. plant the orange and forest, but we still leave these. Yeah, and how big is the land? How big is your farm? This, right now, we cultivated 75 acres in Perico. Okay. Break a lookout and number. Oh, okay. This is only one plus. And then oh. we got a big one over there. So that one over there got um, 3,500 coconut trees. Wow. How did you see those lines? Mm -hmm. See those lines? Yeah. I can't ask you. I was going to ask you which you would access what. It's yes. A, it's a wrong question. Because <laughs> you use it to make juice as well. See those lines we got here. Variety. 22 trees. 22 yes. trees. And since we plant them on the side, on the side bearing, they're never out of line. Never. Wow. 20 years now. 
There is no time of the year you could come and find and don't find limes on these trees. Twenty years and look how much at the bottom. Look. Yeah. Yeah. And we pick five, six hundred from them every week. Yeah. Wow. Every week. Every week. Look how much limes on the tree. Five, six hundred every yeah, yesterday week. Yesterday I picked three three hundred from here. <laughs> and it didn't even look like it touched the amount of limes up. So limes is a big thing, so we'll dig into limes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. I got, I What's got, it? I got, Five finger tree. Yeah. I got that one. Yes, one we here. have one. We have one. Um, I'm sure being a child. What, 80 years old? Yeah, about 80 years old. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Bigger one is beer. So, this is a star so fruit or five finger tree, yeah. as you know it does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Barely have any. <laughs> it's not like we one. That's what loaded with flowers, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's loaded with flowers in there. The reason indeed. I tell you, this is the pirate tree. Yeah, they love this spot to talk. No, there's not much you can do about it. Let me try this one and tell you better not me better than <laughs> yes, this one. It's half taste. And the green, eh, right? Green. Here. It's green. Still green. Can't tell Still green. <laughs> Can't tell you. Make a bite wrong here. Now we try a ripe one. <laughs> I'll tell you better than that. Yeah. Mm -mm. It's sweet. Mm -mm. <laughs> so no, no, it, it's okay. Uh -huh. But the one I got to, I'm sweet. That this. one's all because it's yeah. all right. But let me tell you something. The weather too. The weather. Yeah. Ma this we is on, we ain't going to challenge this. Ever come across. <laughs> if you get nice big ones from it, I'm going to part them. Yeah, yeah. I know the story with it. But it's really big. It's big. I got, I got, when we went beer properly. Yeah. <laughs> I give Damien to taste this the one we got. You don't even realize. It's a one and it's one. And then you got it though. It's a very hard tree to go to. And it's a good one. Right? This one is wood. Bottle mango. <laughs> Bottle mango. Bottle mango. So this is the jamu and this is what it looks like. I just got it from the tree behind me there. Wow, this is sweet. Yeah, that's a seed.
Okay, so we're going to another part of the farm. This is another section we're at. Oh, this is sour sap. Oh, look, there's one till there. This is a sour sap tree. Let me show you the sour sap. Huh? Look up. <laughs> Look at those lemons. Wow, I have to show the lemons. One minute. Look at those lemon size. This is bigger than a normal lemon. This is my hand, and that's how big it is. Wow. So beautiful. Yeah, okay. So we're going through, we're going through more. This is guava. This is guava trees. This is some big guava tree. Sometimes you can I'm literally going through the bushes here right now. Yep. I have to pass through this. <laughs> this is... <sighs> Help! <sighs> yes, I'm in the plant. <laughs> That's some guava. That's a big guava, and the ants and the birds probably got it already. Birds first. Look at them, how they're nice. And they're gonna get bigger than that. Oh, this is this is an adventure. <laughs> I like the other beer with the clear on <laughs> he should tell you <laughs> I don't like mud and grass. Oh god. Nothing really lush with my face. They all cut the grass. Look how high the grass is. Strawberry guava. Strawberry guava? Strawberry guava tree. That's it. Oh. Yeah, you see the bearing. Look how they little. Oh, strawberry guava. So <laughs> buy eight of them online. Uh huh. Oh. We have some lily ones here. Yes. Look how many young ones here. Hmm? Wow. This guavas, but look the leaf. Totally different mm -hmm. from guavas. Look how many she look how much she. Yeah, look at those. Yeah. yeah. 
really, really nice. It don't, get bigger, it don't get bigger than this. Oh. But it's really, really nice. Oh, look, there's one here. No, no, it's like, is that it? Oh, yeah, good, good. See if it's good. Pick yeah. it, pick it. There's it. I know if it's good. Check it. See if I could get a little nipple out of it. Oh, it's so small. See if I could get a little bite out of it. Okay. Bite. Okay, here it goes. Mmm. It's it's soft <laughs> and like sweet. Eat like mm -hmm. water. Tezzeras. Let's see. Yeah, come on, so I get them like this. See, mm. I get a little nipple out of it. Mm -hmm. It's nice, too. right? Mm -hmm. You gotta go off the taste and then it got a nice. Yeah. Look how much on the shoe. Oh my god. Wow. This one is loaded. Mm -hmm. This is loaded. Look at that. Strawberry guava. So many. Strawberry guava. I think this is the first time I'm hearing about strawberry guava. I wonder if this is a... Is a what? Um, hybrid? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what is it, but... We can find out. I know it's a nice, real nice guava. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Let me go back. Mm. These are so some big wait. ones. Yeah, this is guava. Mm -hmm. Normal. Look at how big that is. Yeah. No, no. No. Yeah, even that green. Let me walk right here. This is normal guava. There's a normal guava. Okay. okay. See the boys them is nowhere to right. The boys don't for see them. You see the size yeah, of the guavas? Yeah. The guavas. But like I said, we have to fight for them. We have to fight for them. Yeah. Well, they got to do the job, you know. Yeah. Without yeah. They, if the boys didn't do their job, <laughs> you're going to go out of the get. So they got to fertilize those flowers. So they have to pass between it so when they went small. Eh? Uh-huh. I see, yeah. You look at the Creole guavas, we got them at the back. Okay. Got a big guava bed at the back. Like this. So we have this one, water, alligator, and everything. Alligator, 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 Mm -hmm. This gotta come out from here. Mm -hmm. So I have thrown now. Yeah. These, these shoots is the one that bears. See? Okay. Yeah, I'm throwing them on the shoot bag. These are the ones that does bear guavas. Okay. Uh -huh. Hello? Yes, Mama. Mmm. Yeah. Sweet. Nice. That is yeah, white lady type. Yeah, that one's nice. Mm -hmm. oh. Alice is young one. Young supplier. Come come see. Yeah. <clears throat> Young papayas, more guavas. Oh, bora, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, the one right here. Yeah, two 
They say you can't squeeze, right? You can't squeeze? No. So you do your peel this and huh. cut out the meat out of the pegs. Okay. Oh, because you can't squeeze them. Okay. These don't take squeeze. The fegs them is big fegs like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you peel it and then cut open the fegs and take out the lemon. And you can blend it wherever you want. Okay. Okay. Oh, fat pork mm -hmm. yeah, tree. Fat pork tree. Okay, this one is a nice, but the ones at the back are much better than this one. Fat pork. It's like fluffy inside. Mm -hmm. Sweet, like a cup. Thank you. Yeah. That's boreal, huh? Oh. Yeah, boreal. Mm. Bye bye. Hi. Hi. I love these peppers. I love them. They're so fat. Open there. I'm sure what's going on here. This is a landing, and this is people actually come by the waterside here to wash. Yeah, I'm washed. This is fresh. So and it's fresh water, so it's by the conservancy. Nice. And people living over there, all the way over there. So this is the back down, all the way to the back there. Yeah. Huh? Oh, Lookout. A uh, uh, village is a village, right? Yeah. A village called Lookout. Nice. This is catafire on the tree or breadfruit? Breadfruit. Breadfruit. It's a breadfruit in season right now. <laughs> Push through there. Breadfruit in season and it's really nice to eat. We love to do it with chips, as chips. We peel it and cut it up and, uh, and fry it, and then we have like eggs or, or wings or whatever we want to eat with it. But it's really good. So this is the conservancy. Hello, morning, morning, hi. Let's look out. It runs all the way there, all the way down. So see how down there is low? Look how high here is. Wow. Look how high the water is. Hello. Morning. 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 Oh, that's corn. Corn. This is lookout, right? No, they're Namrik. This is Namrik. Na so, okay, Namrik. So, what do you describe down here? Yes. This is what I call the conservancy. Right, this is the conservancy. This is the Savannah. Savannah. This is estate. Estate, yeah, yeah, estate. So, this is at Namrik. Yeah. The conservancy at Namrik. Yeah. Okay. okay. And I got farm. Farming area, right? This, go back this way. Mm. I'll just say I got farming. Farming. Mm. Largely farming. Yeah, yeah. No, this, I have question, this is what people call whistle coca. Whistle coca. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. Okay. I see you have lots of corn there. Yeah, and then you see right now about the chicken car. Thank you. Very nice. Yes, this these are people that are managing them. Yeah, yeah these, these people are in control of the coca. Oh, they control long here. Okay now. Maybe down here in that year. So oh. carry them. Where are oh. you from? I don't like your food, but I don't know. I, I am being in here since a little while. You got no reason to come in back. So this is the coca here. That's the coca. So you saw the farm, 
Nikki's Natural Juice Farm. It's amazing. It's very big, um, large. It spans acres and acres and um, I love all the freshness that was there. You saw papaya and limes and oranges and um, what's it, sorrel. Um, and those lemons were so big, oh my. So I was very uh, glad that I got this opportunity. Thank you so much. Damien, thank you so much for the opportunity. So allowing me to do this. And juice, I, I, every time I go in Georgetown, I would buy. I would buy um, cherry juice, uh, passion fruit juice. But as you hear, you heard him saying, passion, passion fruit is not in season right now. So we can't get passion fruit juice. But I use a cherry a lot and um, I love it. It's natural. There's no preservatives in there. And um, they do it every day. Uh, you heard how much, he, how much cherries he got from the farm, how much guava and so on they do. It's really big. And seeing all that freshness, all that goodness. And of course, I'm going to be there again to see those strawberry guavas. I tasted one and I loved it. It's really not too, it's not like a normal uh, guava. It was sweet and nice. So here I am at Namrick Conservancy and Namrick is a quiet countryside village located on the east bank of Essequibo. And it's a small agricultural village which is nestled between Lookout and Salem and is bordered by the Essequibo River and the Savannas. It's also located several miles from Perica and it's a central hub of many businesses and a market and the ferry stelling and the beach where private sea boats are moored. The population is about 250 residents, most of whom are farmers, homemakers and other skilled craftsmen and women and young professionals. The village has two internal one vehicle streets and it has canals and trenches running along the houses. It also has two main access dams that leads into the vast backlands and are primarily used for large-scale farming of ground provisions, pineapples, bananas, and plantains. The residents are predominantly Africans, Amerindians, Indians, and people of mixed ethnicity who consider themselves one big family. And the village is mostly self-sufficient in terms of food security and the people eat what they produce. So 
this is Saturday, uh, Saturday midday, well, after, well, after one o'clock right now. Well, yeah, place is closed up already. Closer to tomorrow, yeah. Scotiabank, um, GBTI, um, there's food places here too. Citizen Bank is here. Oh, I know Citizen Bank is here too. GTT upstairs there. Another gas station, two brothers. Right, so this is um, uh, some stand out there. Popeye's chicken. The bus park. So, guys, this is where I'm going to end this video. It was a pleasure taking you to the farm. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you are entertained. Again, Mr. De Silva, thank you so much for taking me to the farm. It was a, a honestly a great opportunity for me. I really appreciate it. Thanks again. Um, the fruits are amazing. The juices are amazing. And it's not just cherry and passion. I keep saying that. It goes beyond that. There's golden apple and, and a whole lot more you guys make. Um, but I was just throwing out cherry and passion because that's my favorite. But again, thank you so much. And guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share and comment below let me know if you like the farm let me know which fruit is your favorite all right take care and i will see you in the next one bye bye